Hi, I'm Debbie Scott. I work with you guys there at As You Are Church, and I've been asked to tell you about missionaries. Um, missionaries are literally just someone who is sent, and usually it's in the context of um, promoting a religion. However, Jesus is the one who commissioned us and sent us all into the world to preach the gospel and make disciples um, who make disciples. And that's really what life groups are all about. And so the idea of um, being missionaries is not foreign to us. We are supposed to be missionaries wherever we are. Um, and that uh, sounds really complicated and something lofty that you have to train for. And there is some training. You need to know your story. How did you come to know Jesus and share that with people? But you also need to know your scripture. So studying is a good idea, but it's not something that you go to missionary school and um, have to do a certain number of steps in order to accomplish. Um, our church supports missionaries um, and has uh, for quite a few years um, in different ways. Right now we have designated a certain amount of the tithes and offerings um, to be done, uh, set aside for mission work. And we have formed uh, a new committee of people that research that. Um, how's the best way to use that particular money to um, spread the gospel throughout the world. Um, the rest of the funds are used for local work. So um, this particular amount of money is going towards missionaries that are uh, training and equipping and uh, making a difference in communities outside of um, right here in Reseda. Um, some might be in Simi Valley, it might be out in um, Antelope Valley, it could be in the city of Los Angeles, um, but right now we're doing the research and you can be a part of that um, with your tithes and offerings, but also if you want to get involved in things that the Lord is putting on your heart right now. Um, it might be something that um, you see a need, it's going unmet, and it's creating um, a lot of disturbance in your spirit. I want to be a voice of encouragement that you pray about it, and you seek God about it, and follow that. See what he wants to do with you. Um, a highly respected pastor um, was the one that told me, your mission is that need going unmet that creates that emotion in you that makes you want to cry and that you're willing to do whatever it takes to take care of that need. There's some misconceptions about missionaries that uh, they have to be these high spiritual people, but God chose common ordinary fishermen to do mighty works that we learn about and then he also used a, a woman who we wove purple to support some missionaries that were going on. We just did a couple of works of missions, uh, baking cookies. Um, you might have heard the call for that, and a bunch of us met at one lady's house up in the hills, and we baked cookies, and we brought along friends and relatives to help us with that. And of course, there's conversation going on in the house while we're doing it. That's sharing Christ right there. And then those cookies were taken to the church. Another group of ladies helped package them and put them into bags. And somebody made a, a card that invited them to, to the receiver to come to our church. Um, and then somebody else is taking those up to um, CSUN and they'll be introducing themselves uh, to those students who are from all over the world. And they're gonna know that they can come to As You Are Church and um, can get a meal after the service. Every missionary does it differently. I know of a missionary that uh, went to Holland and they never did bridal, uh, baby showers. 
And so that was a new concept. And so this ma man and wife decided to hold baby showers for all the local women that were carrying children. And so they did a tradition that was here and took it to Holland. And that grew into a church of 250 people and then they called a pastor. So um, there's not one way to um, share Christ around the world. We're talking about the International Food Festival. There's a wonderful way of reaching out into the community and um, celebrating our uh, diversity at the same time as introducing people to uh, having fun and also share Jesus someplace along the line. That can be done with a track, that can be done with um, just one-on-one -on -one conversation. Have you ever thought about heaven and hell? Um, people think about those things. So maybe they wanna just know why you have hope. Why do you have joy? So you can get involved um, in so many ways and ongoing. Uh, the mission committee is just at the beginning of putting those kinds of information together in a way that you can access and say, yeah, that speaks to me, or no, that's not something I want to be involved in yet. Um, we're going to be providing information at the information booth. Uh, you can stop by and get a card that has my phone number on it, and you can call me. Um, we can plug you into what it is that God is putting on your heart. Um, and then uh, watch for announcements because we'll be including the, um, this is a way that you can be involved um, going forward. Um, this is a lifestyle. It's not a um, one and done thing. This is something that we do as long as the Lord gives us breath. And um, we share with our families, we share with our friends, and we share with uh, people that we don't know yet. So. Um, I want to be a voice of challenging you to find your place and your purpose in God's plan um, to reach people for Jesus Christ and that you can go to heaven and meet them there and they'll be there saying thank you. So God bless you.